people that you're friendly with or people you're not friendly with, if all those people, you have a relationship with both of those people, some is good and some is bad. So you do have a relationship with God, but you don't want to have a relationship with God that doesn't get you to heaven because in your mind you're just thinking God knows me and that he knows how I am. That's exactly right. He knows how you are better than you know who, how you are. And he knows how deceived you can, how much you can deceive yourself to think, I have my own version of this thing called Christianity. But unless you, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, your form of Christianity is not biblical Christianity and it won't save you. You've been deceived. You need to have the Holy Spirit because when, the, when Jesus left, he says, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. He is the one that's going to do all these things for you. If you don't have him, you don't have me. You can't, you can't have me without him. Can't come to the Father except through Christ. You can't come to Christ except through the, you can't have a relationship with Christ except through the Holy Spirit. Let's look at what it says in verse 17 in chapter 2. It says, he, Jesus, came and preached peace to you who were afar off and to those who were near. Read again, chapter 2, Ephesians verse 17. He came and preached peace to you who were afar off and to those who were near. For through him we both have access by one spirit to the Father. You have access by one spirit to the Father. The Holy Spirit gives you access to the Father. Dear God, please forgive me of my sin and come live in my heart. And the Holy Spirit is the one who comes lives in your heart. Dear Father, hear my prayers. The Holy Spirit that prays on your behalf. Dear Lord, please convict me of my sin and show me where I'm wrong. The Holy Spirit's the one who does that. Dear Father, please show me the deep things of God that pertain to me. It's the Holy Spirit that tells you that. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a disconnect there. God's not going to bypass his own system. And so the Holy Spirit is so critical for you to, in your relationship with God, and you, you want to really make sure that the Holy Spirit's in my life. Matter of fact, turn, you're in Ephesians. Turn four books before it to Romans chapter 5. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, there is a, a certain quality of God's love that you do not have. Hmm. Now, how many of y'all under 25 say amen? amen. How many of y'all over 25 say amen? Okay, let's, let's try this one more time. If you're under 25, raise your hand. We'll see how many of y'all are. Okay. Keep, okay, if you're over 25, raise your hand. If, you, if you're under 30, under. Okay, very good. Okay. So I got to believe that it wasn't that long ago for all y'all. And when I say that long, 10, 15 years, that's not a long time. When you had your first crush. Maybe it was last year. I don't know. Y'all remember your first crush? Okay, it was like that person, when you saw that person, they were perfect. They were perfect. Everything stopped. The birds stopped chirping. The wind stopped. Music started playing. And you couldn't believe why everybody around you wasn't looking at them going, oh, they are so fine. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay. So we call it, it's called puppy love. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a young and kind of love. It's a certain kind of love, but it's a young kind of love. And you have love for yourself, you have love for your mom, you have love for your friends, all kind of stuff. And that's all good and fine. But when you have your own child, you will experience a love that you never, ever experienced in your life. How many people have, have had a baby? Very good. Okay. How many of you never had a baby? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Is that a good thing? <laughs> so I don't want no kids. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody with a baby and they're like, they, when they talk about that baby, they are so beautiful and guess what they did and they're so this and they're so this and they're so smart. And it's like, and then you meet the baby and you're going, it's all right. <laughs> it's all that. Because they are over the top in love. No matter what you've ever experienced with another human, it is this compared to what you will experience when you have a child. It's a whole different quality of love that you've never, ever experienced. Can I get an amen for the people who have a baby? So when you get pregnant, y'all girls, ladies, you know, y'all, and, and, and fellas, when your, your, your wife, hopefully it's your wife, gets pregnant,